Neighbors who evacuated to the Big Bend for safety from Hurricane Milton woke up Thursday morning to pack up and head back home to see what damage the storm has caused. I'm Ashley Engel in the Southeast Tallahassee neighborhood where people hunkered down to get away from the storm. 243 neighbors from areas like Tampa and Fort Myers called North Florida Fairgrounds their temporary home, evacuating from Hurricane Milton's danger. I'm not really knowing what to do. David Moore is one of those evacuees. He made the trip here from Ocala. He says his home got destroyed by Hurricane Helene, and once he saw Milton coming, he didn't want to take the risk. Maybe we can do a little better next time, you know, something like this happens. American Red Cross opened this evacuation shelter, which can house up to 300 people. We already had the shelter open for folks that had been impacted by Helene, so it just made perfect sense to be able to, to size it down a little bit and allow a lot more folks in there. Sharon Carraway, the executive director for the Capital Area Chapter for American Red Cross, says this neighborhood has gone through Hurricane Adalia last year, the May tornadoes, Hurricane Debbie, and Hurricane Helene. Right now, as an organization, their goal is to make sure neighbors are safe and have a place to go. It's our job to stay prepared year round. Um, this is the word unprecedented has been used ad nauseum, but all of this is unprecedented. A time to rebuild again for some, as David told me, he's taking this day by day. I'm really unsure what to do, but I just know that just going to stay positive is all you can do, you know. The American Red Cross tells me they had over 200 people utilize the shelter here at the North Florida Fairgrounds. They're going to keep this shelter open as long as people need it. In the Southeast Tallahassee neighborhood, I'm Ashley Engel. ABC 27.